something positive, and the bad guys and the big money are saying no, 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 we get to say no. A referendum puts the burden on the developer to say, please approve our height increase. Vote yes. We actually get to say, if you're confused, if you think it's a bad idea to do some piecemeal planning, vote no. Um, and that's as far as Supervisor Chu, Aaron, everyone who's worked on campaigns know, saying no is easier than saying yes. So I'm really looking forward to that campaign. We can keep this coalition, we can build it, and we can show people that you can't mess with our waterfront. So, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, John, and thank you, the staff. You, I was glad to meet all of you. You did a great job, and I know you're tired of pizza. We <laughs> have lots of other food there. Please enjoy. Uh, if anybody else has a story to tell about what happened in the last 29 days, we'd love to hear hear from you. If there's anybody up there, out there, who would like to say something, we certainly have it. Yes. I just want to say something, and this is in relation to here. Here. We have a, we have a uh, 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 All right, all right, all right. Okay. Um, I'm from Chicago, so I know firsthand, because I was a federal probation officer, about people who count and miscount balance. <laughs> so, yes, it was very so I want to say mazel tov to those of you. But there was a comment that Simon Snellgrove made last week when he was harassing us, and I think it might be something that's useful. I said to him I had never met him and introduced myself and just said, I was very reasonable, very logical, just said, you know, I know you have your reasons and I understand and respect that. You're an Australian, <clears throat> I'm very disappointed because I'm an adopted Australian and that really bothers me. But more than that, you didn't run a fair fight. You know that and we know that. His comment to me was, and I told him I was from Chicago, and he smiled and he said, well, you know how politics are done in this town. So I think that's an important thing for you to know. If you don't know already, you can give a quote. Yeah. We're going to show them that it's not how politics are done. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Bobby Cole. One thing that was clear from the first pass of community pushback against this uh, proposal that I worked on with Barbara and Dick Stewart was that the view lines were going to be severely impacted. And I just noticed as I came across the Bay Bridge yesterday heading towards San Francisco, when you're coming into San Francisco and you look at the line of sight from the ferry building tower to Coit Tower, it's right where the project is sited, at ground level, and this came out during all the official hearings, at ground level, the view of Coit Tower from the ferry building would be blocked by this unconscionable project. During some of the planning hearings, this was characterized as dramatic, that to not see the, the tower, to not see Telegraph Hill from the ferry building was peekaboo, yes. now you see it, now you don't, you wait to see it, and then when you see it, you're rewarded. And the truth of the matter is that you won't see it, that it just blocks the view. And that view is so famous and so signature to San Francisco that it's priceless. It is absolutely unconscionable that so much power rolled over for this project for so long. And so I am thrilled to be part of this and part of the democratic pushback. The idea that there were thugs in the streets from a developer who seems to like the attention, no matter how negative, is right out of the worst Hollywood movie you ever saw. <laughs> Haven't seen that kind of thuggery in a long time, but 
We're together. We're going to win it. Thank you, everybody. celebration tonight, and I really don't want to have you standing around where you could be eating and drinking and enjoying it. We're, we're, Fog, I can assure you, will be at the forefront as they have been for the last seven years. I would like to just point out a couple of people who are in, individually here. Uh, Charles Duncan. Yeah. And Six hundred signatures. Wow. And Bill I believe you hit three hundred, right? You know. Who's counting? Almost a thousand. That's what Fog does, and we will continue this. Yes, Tab. Um, can I have a few words? Uh, very few. <laughs> If you get an email from FOG, from FOG.us, uh, it's coming off of my website. Um, I host FOG.us. Um, every email you get comes through my server. Uh, I would like to hear from anybody who would like to continue the online effort to manage this project, to get in contact with the 800,000 voters. Uh, this is going to be done the way Wikipedia does it, the way Craigslist does it. It's going to be done not by human to human contact, it's going to be done by online contact. So if, we, if we're going to get to the next stage of, 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 of saving our city, of doing the right thing, it's going to be because we're going to do it both in the real world and in the digital world. So please send an email to coaches at fog.us and let me know that you want to be part of the electronic effort to get this going. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Sam has been our webmaster for seven years, putting together our website and much of our technical material. And again, thank you. Thank you for all your help. But we I need people asking technological questions now. Right. Okay. That's not me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just got word that there is a lawsuit by the ferry building on the, I, I believe it's the parking situation, the whole has, thing actually. has, has been filed on the whole thing. So there's another stumbling block for Mr. Snellgrove, and I'm glad to hear that the is still with us. That's important. Thank you for the information. Well, look at, let's, let's enjoy ourselves tonight. We've got a lot of work. We're going to roll up our sleeves. There's a lot of things that we're going to be doing. But tonight's a night for us to really congratulate ourselves. Thank you all for coming. Thank you to Aaron and, and David and the crew at the headquarters and all the individuals. Please eat up and drink. And if you got any questions, please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you a union employee? Are Are you, you need to send him the, the, the thing. Don't forget your book. Right. Right. She's, I, 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 I always wondered who coaches was. Thank you. Hey.